Do you think I might be switched off because I don't function as well as I'm supposed to? Eva, I don't know the answer to your question. It's not up to me. Why is it up to anyone? This is Alicia Vikander, a Swedish actress whose performances in Ex Machina and The Danish Girl earned her global recognition, and in addition to becoming an action star as Lara Croft in Tomb Raider, she plays the lead role in the thriller Earthquake Bird. What do you say about the future? Come on. Alicia wanted to be an actress ever since she was eight years old. How do we know this? She said it when she was eight years old on a Swedish talent show. I should be a skådespelare. That she won, by the way. Alicia would eventually attend the Royal Swedish Ballet School to study dance, a skill that would come in handy a lot later in her career. She also got plenty of work in Swedish television, eventually playing a recurring character on the dramatic series Second Avenue. But even after all this, Alicia had doubts of finding success as an actress, getting a job at a Levi store and applying to law school instead, until she got a call from a casting director for someone to play the lead role in the Swedish drama Pure. She played played Katarina, a troubled and promiscuous receptionist at a concert hall who begins having an affair with the conductor. For her raw, emotionally charged performance, she won a Goldbaga, which is the Swedish equivalent of an Academy Award, for Best Actress. Alicia continued to impress by spending eight weeks learning enough Danish to convince audiences as the lead in The Royal Affair. And eventually got another big break when her dancing background came in handy as Kitty in the Oscar-winning period drama Anna Karenina. Afterwards, she found time to rub shoulders with other British acting icons like Benedict Cumberbatch in The Fifth Estate and Kit Harington in Testament of Youth. Then, of course, came Ex Machina, and with it, the role of a lifetime. Elisa reunited with Anna Karenina co-star Donald Gleason when she played Ava, an android around which a single question revolves. Is she alive? Now that's a character that any actress would love to play. And hey, those years of dance training came in handy again when she set out to achieve that perfect balance of physicality between robotic and human. You learn about me, and I learn nothing about you. That's not a foundation on which friendships are based. Alicia won a Golden Globe for her performance, and followed that up with an Academy Award when she played Gerda, a painter who awakens her husband's identity as a woman when she begins using him as a model in her paintings in The Danish Girl. I need to talk to my husband. I need to hold my husband. It's safe to say that in recent years, Alicia has continued to settle comfortably in subtle period dramas, but she's perfect for action movies as well, whether she's working for the CIA in Jason Bourne, or whether she starts taking action into her own hands in Tomb Raider. And yet again, her experience as a dancer helped her with all of the physical demands that come with playing an iconic action video game character. Alicia Vikander has more than proven herself as a capable leading woman, finding humanity in all of her characters, even the more robotic ones. And she already has plenty of experience and skills at her disposal to keep audiences wanting more.